Um, now before we get out of here, 2020 has been fucking crazy. You know, King Von, Mo3, rest in peace, pay will. Yeah. Um, I could keep going, Duck. I could really keep going, man. Yeah. Uh, it's been real crazy. But I know when you're in Flint, you're always around. You're really accessible in your city. Does that make you change the way you move? You know, Boosie even said it. Like, you, you got to move out your hometown. Yeah, it do. But see, the thing with me is... Like I've been in the streets all my life. Like it was, a, it was really like in, in Flint or small. So it was going down and like with people around. Like a lot of people was getting killed. All this shit been going on. So I always moved kind of different. But with me being a rapper now, you gonna notice me because I'm probably in a nice ass car. I got jewelry on. So if you see me at the same gas station that you would have seen me at two years ago, you probably when he ain't paid me attention. So now I kind of move strategic, but like I'm from the streets, bro. And I don't let this music shit overpower that because it, at the end of the day, I still live in the streets and I'm still a regular person. So I just know how to, like, I feel like I know how to move anyway, just from my past. Like I have seen a lot of shit where before all this shit, I knew what and what not to do. And then another thing is like, I'm not untouchable, nobody is. I'm not the fucking godfather or nothing, but it's a respect thing more so than anything. Like, right. the niggas who be doing the robbing and all that shit, like, I be around them. Like, I said on this one song I just did, I said, I'm a real street nigga. I be nodding off around the robbers. Like, I used to be on that, so niggas, like, they could feel it. Like, nigga, and it's like, I don't act different. How I look at right. it, like you know how they say, the dog could be the nicest. The dog could be the nicest in the world, but it'll bite you if it fear if it feel like you scared of them. You just gotta be yourself, bro, and, and be you know what I'm saying. Keep your eyes open, mm -hmm. play your cards right, and you'll be straight. Cause even in Detroit, like you might see me at the worst fucking gas station in the hood, but it's gonna always love and respect. Like a nigga will give me that gun off their hip. Like here, like you straight. This the air, like woo woo. We just did, but it's just like it's just having that mentality. I feel like like I'm always more strategic anyway. But Boosie was right. You gotta get the fuck out your hometown when you get too big, cause a a lot of people just do shit out of jealousy and anger. It just be jealousy and like you don't have to do nothing to them, act no kind of way. They just don't like it, like. You can't be walking around with fifty, sixty thousand on your jury on, and like you automatically a target. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like you gotta move strategic, which you should do anyway. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know they say because I deal with a lot of rappers who never had ops before um, they start rapping. Then they start rapping. It's all these different people coming out the woodworks. You got your friends wanting money from you. You got yeah. family thinking you're richer than what you are. Yeah. You got all these different people coming at you. Have you experienced any change yet, though? Hell yeah. Like, like my family, like, they just, like, they look at me different now. And it's kind of like, because I've always been a, a loner and all that. But, like, if I come around, they be like, oh, like, I don't know. It's like they try to impress me or they, they just be saying a little weird shit. Like my mama think I'm rich for sure. Like my mama think I'm your rich. real mom or your my who, who uh, raised me? my mom that raised me both of okay. them. But my mom that raised me, like you know, she she raised me, so she's seen everything from the beginning to now. And like you know, she used to work regular jobs where, like when she get her little tax check, like nine ten thousand dollars, it'd be like that'd be a lot of money. Like that's what we was. Looking up to her a year. Right. So I'll fuck around and be around my mom more. Like, she go, how much was your watch? Like, like 45000 She like, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why you got all that money on you? I'm like, this ain't nothing. $30,000, $40,000, man. This ain't. But I had to, I be having to remember she not used to that. So she like, like, she think I'm rich. Like, a lot of people think I'm rich. They be like, why your mom still staying in the hood? And hood? I'm like, I'm not rich yet, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm straight, but 
Like, it's a difference. Like, a million dollars not rich, you feel me? Like, I'm trying to get wealthy to where I can set it up for my whole family, but a lot of my family, like, they kind of different now. Like, they they call me big time and famous. Like, be saying a little funny shit, and I be like, it's, that's not it. Like, I'm still the same person. Like, I found my passion in life. It stuck with it, and I, I know how to hustle, so I'm always look good and keep some money on me, but... We ain't at that point yet, like, because when we get at that point, they gonna know, like, they ain't gonna have to do, like, my mom ain't gonna have to work no more. She ain't gonna have to worry about the next crib or what's gonna happen, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm working on right now. It's like, your family will pull you down because they'll feel like you acting funny towards them because you can't do certain shit when they don't realize you're not really rich, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I, if I do everything you ask for, I damn near to fall off or I, damn, I yeah, lose sure. a lot. And for it sure. would just wouldn't make sense. So I feel like people just got to be patient, you know what I'm saying? Because you see the come up and it be like, damn, he was just right here. Now he right here. I know he got yeah. it. Like, it ain't yeah. like that. You see athletes go broke all the time doing exactly. that. From Antoine Walker lost four hundred million. Allen Iverson. I could keep going. It's a lot of athletes exactly. who lost so much money because of family and friends. Exactly. Like, yeah. And I keep that mindset where this ain't it. Like my mama be like, like one day I told her like I got like sixty thousand on me. She like, and she like. All right, well, she, basically, she feel like I'm good, but I be trying to tell her, like, this is nothing. Like, it's a car out there I want that costs a quarter million dollars. <laughs> so that means if I had a quarter million dollars and I bought this car, I would have nothing after that. So now I'm at the point where I'm trying to get my credit right because credit is more important than money. And I'm trying to I'm trying to get into other shit to have equity, you know what I'm saying, where if the rap don't work, I still be able to maintain it, you know what I'm saying? It's like right. once like once people understand that it it will be a whole different ball game, but I don't think they never is cuz this is a revolving cycle like where your family think you rich, you got more than what you got cuz they yeah. they seen you with nothing.